Hi, this is Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews, and today we are bringing you a skit and review and DVD giveaway. First off, we'll do the skit. I think it turned out pretty funny. I hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely give me some feedback on that, and then we're going to do the review. And then if you stick around to the end, you have a chance to win a free DVD. And if I forgot to mention, this is for the movie Rise of the Zombies. They say they can catch a car unless you go over 98 miles per hour. Steve, slow down! Shit! How are we gonna get out of here, guys? The zombies coming up out of the ocean everywhere. The only way out is to kneel down and paddle. So we're gonna take this life raft? To the ocean. Is it, is it just me or are we going in circles here? Should I paddle too? That might help. I think I felt something underneath me. Oh my god, a zombie! <laughs> Jump out and swim! Land ho! Zombies must have ate the lighthouse bulb. Uh oh, I got oh. sand in my ear. Well, we might as well head for the evac point. What about the research? We don't need the research. We, we just need to hear the evac point so we can live, so we can survive. Okay, well, if you're gonna go, take this with you. I don't need a gun. I've got a shovel. Good luck, guys. Oh, oh my god! A zombie bit you! No, did I just trip? Grenade! Dude! I like to dun dun. Oh, wait, what? Hi, this is Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews. I hope you enjoyed the skit, and this is... His guest, Bad Obsession 83. Uh, if you haven't figured it out from the very obvious skit, we are reviewing Rise of the Zombies. Starring, who is in that? Uh, Danny Trejo, even though he was not the leading role, but the biggest name probably <laughs> on that movie. Yeah, it had uh, French Stewart, the guy from uh, Third Rock. Um, uh, what was that guy's name from Star Trek? Oh, LeVar Burton from Star Trek. Jordy LaForge? LaForge. LaForge. Jordy LaForge. Uh, who else? I don't, I don't know that guy's name. Ethan Supley from uh, My Name is Earl. <laughs> and uh, we're not sure, but he might have played a retarded character. Yeah, I mean, the cast played retarded characters. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be mean or rude or anything, but I mean, I he am. just has this really stupid expression on his face the whole time. And he looks like possibly he's farting. And there was a little Asian kid who couldn't stop smiling even in the most intense <laughs> scenes of the movie. And it was really awkward. I think basically needless to say <laughs> that the acting quality was subpar. Okay, we know that there's plenty of D-list actors out there, ourselves are included, but yeah, this was like way in like the M or N's as far as actors went. <laughs> they were like, who was almost kind of famous at one point in their career? <laughs> who peaked at somewhere in their career? Like they almost were maybe like the third, the third headline in a movie once, but they weren't. <laughs> okay, so basically, now 20 years later. So <laughs> is Carlton from the Freshman's Burn. It was a long time. But who would have even noticed if he was? <laughs> so, Wasn't there one other person? Oh. No, the guy from Fast and the Furious. Yeah, the dude from Fast and Furious, the ADD. <laughs> the guy who had ADD for the first Fast and the Furious. <laughs> we forgot about him, see? Nobody knows his name. <laughs> Nobody has any clue. I mean, if somebody told me they're going to kill me right now, if I didn't say his name, I would be dead. This is true. So basically, the movie, obviously, is about zombies. I'm not sure about the title, Rise of the Zombies, because there is no Rise of the Zombies. They've already risen. So <laughs> I don't understand the title. So they're already at a fail there. But, um, so it starts off with a car chase and a pregnant woman. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 
basically, uh, everybody dies except the pregnant woman, and you'll, she'll be seen a little throughout the movie. And then it's a bunch of people at, uh, where were they at? Alcatraz. At Alcatraz. <clears throat> and that's like their hold up. There's that was camp. a sanctuary. There was nobody there. Like, I mean, zombies can come through. Unfortunately, frequently. the zombies either learn to swim <laughs> or they, uh, like in, uh, what was that, Land of the Dead? Or Land where, of they, where they walk through the water? I think that's probably what they did. Um, you can't really tell. They're kind of tripping as they walk up the beach, and they have no makeup on because they just came out of the beach. But <laughs> once they get inside, they're perfectly dry. So I'm not sure if those ones were helicoptered in or what, <laughs> what happened with those. They just respawn on the island. <laughs> but uh, so basically, everybody dies except for a few characters. Like everybody's already dead, and we're like five minutes in the movie. <laughs> Granny the train will last a few more minutes, but. Uh, so they eventually decide they have to leave the island. Unfortunately, LaForge gets left behind because his daughter it's is been, infected and he's got to save her. He's trying to do research to <clears throat> save her because he's a scientist or something or other. Yeah, he seemed like he was a scientist. And all the other people head for San Francisco. Unfortunately, on the way, uh, they run into zombies with Kung Fu Grip. Who can <laughs> steal the side of the bridge. The just holding on bridge. like this. They don't even bend their fingers. They just... They were just cleaning the walls, so the pillars going climbing all the way up. And this one little kid just looked down smiling <laughs> the, Asian kid the whole time, like he couldn't say anything. <clears throat> and the sister dies, and he's still smiling. <laughs> and so eventually they decide um, some people are going to go for the evac point, and some people are going to go for the research, because they believe there's a cure. <laughs> and um, I, think, I think that sums up without giving away like the ending or too much pretty much sums it up in so. between um this, this definitely is like your rip off d d league movie somehow got danny trejo in it um this movie is a little graphic at some points uh it was kind of funny because they would, they would like they just have like the most random things <laughs> like you shoot someone in the arm and their head blows off <laughs> like, you see but, a zombie with a hole in his forehead still alive and then you get shot in the head again there's a zombie with a bullet straight through the eyes every zombie is shot straight through the eyes i mean they, they shoot like this from a mile away straight through the eyes the girl with the shotgun shoots either like this or like this she doesn't know if she's digging or spearing <laughs> and uh let's not forget the epic raft scene on the raft that was ridiculous <laughs> So they get, they, they're on the island, they're trying to leave the island, and the one guy from Fast and Furious jumps in the raft, and he's trying to pull it into the ocean, not realizing that he's standing on it. <laughs> it's very far away from the ocean still. I was like, what are they doing? they got to wait until they get into the ocean to start getting it. Oh my gosh. So, so I think this movie is good for a lot of laughs, just <clears throat> because it's ridiculous how stupid everything is. Really bad CGI through the whole thing. Like, nothing, almost nothing is done practically, it's just all all really bad CGI, and um, I definitely think this movie is worth a laugh, you know, it's one of those movies where everything's just so stupid, you can't help but laugh, and get your friends together, and you're just like, oh my god, what's going on, why does that eight-year-old lady have a joint behind her ear? <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, I think, like, for overall quality, I'm only going to give this movie a one, out of, just out of five. Out of five. Uh, what, what, what would you give it? I would give it a one and a half. One and a half. On a comedic scale. Uh, can you give an explanation for that score? Just kind of sum it up what you're feeling. I'll give it a one on the overall experience and a, and a half for the addition of Danny Trejo. Because <laughs> my how you've fallen so far, but I still love you. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> like, we're, like we're saying, the movie is really bad, but it's definitely worth watching for a laugh. Um, you want to kill some time and just giggle? Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. My final opinion, leave the movie making to the professionals and the comedic shit to guys like us. <laughs> Any last words, Chris? I really wanted to give you a wet willy.